Western Park Game Fair on the Zeiss stand. I'm talking to Mark Khan about what the new have you got to show us at the show, Mark? Well, there's nothing new from, from what we showed you at Ewa, but bear in mind this is the first game fair, major game fair of the season, yeah. of the cancellation of the CLA. Um, we've now got the Victory HT rifle scopes, which uh, we had after Ewa, yeah. but without the uh, bullet drop compensator. Right. So it's certainly got a lot more popular news of its spread, and now we have it. And, right. and literally, we have it here at the show right. in all its glory. Um, this is 3 to 12 by 56. So, how does this vary from the other ballistic compensators we've been seeing on the, the Daivaris? Well, on the FL, we had, we had the turret, and what you used to do was you fitted a, a metallic strip. Yeah. Um, and then with the new ASV Plus, whereas you used to get five strips, you now get nine separate rings. So we increase the range of calibers yeah. um, and ballistics data. This being one of the rings? This is one of the rings. So it's all Mark 1, 152. And what you do, when you take this apart to zero it, you, after matching your ballistics and your caliber to the appropriate ring, you would then fit the ring and then put the connection all back together again yep. and you would use this ring so if you're at 200 you would lift the turret drop it to the two mark and keep your point of aim right i see and these are marked up 100 200 300 400 500 and so on and they would vary to whatever caliber you've got which you match up to your ballistics you tap into the website yeah, and if you home load, there is also a program where you can go into it, you enter all your ballistics data, and it'll give you the same ring number which should be fitted should you home load. Right. Is this scope available with a ballistic compensator for the windage? No, you can have it as a, an extra. Um, but what we have is you have the, the basic scope which comes without the ballistic turret. You can have it retrofitted, right. but in fairness, it would cost more to have it retrofitted, but you can order it with the ballistic turret. It's got a slightly different code. Right. So if you go into your, your local gunsmith, you say, I want a, a Victory HT with a ballistic turret, and we would enter that code when we order it from Germany. I see. And what kind of price are these retailing at? Uh, the, the street price is anything from sort of fourteen to sixteen hundred, depending on the size of of the scope. Right. And we have four in the series: a one point one to four by twenty four, one and a half to six by forty two, two and a half to ten by fifty, and this is the big one: the three to twelve by fifty six. And the ballistic turret would be extra on top. And the ballistic turret would be right. extra on and top. Roughly, what would that be extra? Um, if you should have it retrofitted, you'll be looking somewhere in the region of £180. Right. Yeah, that looks good. A nice, slim, compact scope, aren't they? Compact, new shot glass. I mean, this is, we discussed it in, yeah. in Iwo in March. So, for low light, 95% transmission was our target. You will certainly, I will say, you will certainly see the difference in the low light. Right. We've got a beautiful day here at Midland, yeah. but... If the old light goes later on, this is when it comes into its own. Yeah. Well, I, I have tried these in the half light and in the edge of darkness, and I can vouch for that, but in the dark, they are brilliant scopes. Um, so, brilliant. Thanks for showing us that, Mark. Pleasure. And we'll talk to you later on. Will do, Mike. Thank you. Mm -hmm.